Hi there and welcome to another DCAC video. Today we're going to be tying a uh, mini booby. Cat's whisker type fly. This one's got uh, four millimeter eyes. FNF micro in atomic yellow the red little bit on the uh, behind the eyes is hen spectra in red and a uh, little bit of that white thread UTC 70 and the hook is a Camasan B160 size 10 size 10 gape size 12 shank so they look alright you can up change the colours change the colour of the eyes body this is a, like a cat's whisker sort of a, a fly but uh, you can make the eyes bigger this is four mil I go up to a, a seven um, so first of all we get rid of that and uh, I'm going to show you how I tie the eyes in most of the time anyway let's kick off start the thread off put that shank probably halfway break off or cut the uh, the excess off the waist off come back up to the eye so I'm going to bend the foam I need about three eighths of an inch. A couple of three tight wraps. Just ease your fingers back a little bit. Fairly tight. I'm just going to nip the excess off there. The excess off the back of the foam. This foam's a nice little uh, carrot shaped body. find it tying them in, tying booby eyes in this way uh, the eyes don't move so what I'm going to do now is pull the thread up above over the top figure of eight half a dozen times then underneath two or three times figure of eight come down the back whip finish because we're going to put some super glue <laughs> just a touch on that just to <coughs> excuse me 
keep it sound in between the eyes upside down that's the eyes complete you see it's uh, it's a nice neat job so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that to one side let that dry off and I've got one in here that I tied earlier some blue peter job okay so reattach the thread break it off I'm trying to keep it fairly short so it's only a small fly and back up to probably just under an eighth of an inch from the eye I'm going to white marabou not a lot probably about three quarters of an inch I'm going to trim the end off that Right down, drop my scissors. That's why I have to buy another two or three pairs every year. Right down to the end, as close as you can get it to your fingers, more or less. And then just seal that, just tie that in. That's about long enough. Now you can leave them as long or short as you like. I like them probably about just from there to there lengthwise. So probably about there. Break them off, don't cut them. Fairly simple. to bear the end of the uh, fritz and literally just, just wrap it around so it's simple, simple flies try and, try and stroke them back but it's only, this is only 6 mil this uh, fritz obviously if you go on a bigger hook then Fritz will be bigger. See the eyes, are, do you not move the eyes? They're fairly solid. Let's wet the marabou at the end, but uh, it'll dry out. Put the wraps behind, a few wraps in front. Just snip that off as close as you can get. Again, won't I? Shortly. So put the wing in, about the same, about, probably about three quarters of an inch of marabou. Roll it, you can roll it like a rope to make it easier to handle. Make sure you get all the fibres trapped on marabou. Now the mar mar wing wants to be the same length as the tail. Put the collar in. You don't have to put the collar in if you don't want to. You can just tie it off at that, it's just a normal cat's whisker thing. If you're going to tie it off then um, tie the thread off. You can tie it off there or you can tie it off under there. 
It don't really matter. Bit of varnish. We finished tool or we finished by hand if you want. Three or four wraps, plenty. Up there. Snip off the excess. That's it, complete. Be right when it tail dries. That's the original. That's dry. Hope you enjoyed that. And I uh, hope you can join me again. Subscribe if you wish. And uh, I'll see you shortly for some more simple flies. Bye-bye.